As soon as this little set was announced, I knew I had to grab it. Whilst I think it could look better, this ship is awesome, so let's roll the intro and check it out. Welcome to my review of the Mandalorian N1 Starfighter Microfighter from LEGO. This set was just recently announced, coming out on the 1st of August 2023. It has 88 pieces and features two minifigures in total. Now this set depicts Din Djarin's new Starfighter from the Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett TV series, with a Mandalorian minifigure and a cute little Grogu minifigure included, with one included playful feature which we'll come on to later on. I got this set for the set retail price of $12.99 which is higher than the usual micro fighter price of $8.99. Even with the price increase this set is the cheapest way to currently get a Mandalorian and Grogu minifigure together. Moving on to the box art here we see Din Djarin and Grogu in flight in their ship with what looks to be Moss Eisley in the background. It's very faint but with how much is there in the TV series this probably is Mos Eisley. Turn the box around we see the ship landed in what looks to be Peli Motel's hangar which is where the ship was constructed. We also get a look at the included play feature which is that stud shooter at the front but besides that there is no storage or anything else mechanical on this set. If you're really enjoying this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Lego content like this as well as more. Opening up the box inside we find one big bag and one small bag full of Lego parts, instructions for the build itself and no stickers. Gotta love a build with no stickers. So I went ahead and built the set and now we can have a look at the finished built product. First impressions I've got to say aren't great. This set looks a bit underwhelming and I'm quite disappointed with the overall look of it. The wings ideally should have been bigger as the wingspan to body ratio doesn't look right compared to the actual ship in the series. Besides that the build was quick easy and everything fits as it should. The stud shooters at the front work as intended so you'll have no problem shooting down an enemy ship. So in this set you do get two minifigures which are Din Djarin and Grogu. The Din Djarin minifigure is quite nicely detailed on the front and some detail on the back with arm printing on both sides and a nicely moulded helmet with a printed head instead of the usual black minifigure head usually included with this minifigure. The Grogu minifigure is tiny like I've personally never seen a minifigure figure this small before. As a result of it being so small there is only a tiny bit of printing on the front and the arms cannot be moved but I'd be surprised if they could at this size. The head is also really small but does feature a nice bit of detail especially on top of his head. Now time for the pros and cons of this Lego set. In terms of pros this set allows you to get these two minifigures fairly cheaply without buying separately of course and the build itself was quite easy nothing too fancy in terms of cons the retail price increase for this kind of set the micro fighter series in general it's, it's just too high 12.99 is just not a good price for this set maybe in between the old price of 8.99 and 12.99 would have been a bit better and of course as i said previously it doesn't look as good as it possibly could could that the wings don't look right compared to the size of the body. So overall in conclusion it's great to see another microfighter join the ever growing range of Star Wars microfighter Lego sets but that joy is overshadowed by this price increase. This set is definitely not worth the $12.99 price tag at all so I would recommend getting this on sale when you can. There's also the fact of the ship not looking as good as can be but that can be fixed. There's already a few alternative creations out there using the exact same pieces that addresses what I spoke about so if you feel like me then I'd recommend checking those out. So what do you guys think? As always I'll be answering comments for a few hours after this video has gone live. Anyway take care guys and I'll see you in the next video.